What's up guys, Mr. Audio here and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed and while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and smash the notification bell so you never miss another video. All right, before I get in this video, I do want to mention that we recently put together a Discord where you can ask all your music production related questions, get private feedback on your mixes from me, and also suggest content that I might cover here on YouTube. That being said, let's get right in this video. All right, so this video is going to be a short one, and it's really in response to a comment that I got that I kind of glazed over the MIDI mode in one of the last videos I did about creating natural sounding harmonies with Isotope's vocal synth. You can also do this with Nectar, but the harmonies don't sound as good. They sound really artificial, and it just sounds bad, for lack of a better word. I consider vocal synths to be just a cut above, and there's some things you can do to make it natural. I'll link the video that I made up here. But this is about going over the MIDI mode. You will hear a little bit of how it sounds, and that's part of this, but I do want to mention that I'm really just going to go over the MIDI mode and not how I came to all these conclusions. If you want to know more about creating natural harmonies with vocal synth, check out that video. I'll link it up here again. All right, that being said, let's do this. So I wanted to show that you could take this from your production. So I made a piano track with the MIDI information from the last video, just so that you could see that you can literally take the MIDI information from any track in your production. You just have to create an empty MIDI track with no devices on it. All right, so that's what we're gonna do here. See the MIDI notes right here. I'm gonna take and we're just gonna go down here. We're gonna insert a new MIDI track, all right? Now, I'm gonna take all of these. I'm just gonna take them all, not like that. And just copy them. Can you bring them down here? Boom, just like that, okay? So now we've made our new MIDI track and put MIDI content on that track. Okay, so now we're gonna grab vocal synth. Let's throw it on the track, and we're gonna do the same thing as in the last video, all right? I'm gonna just kinda brush over this. I'm gonna turn off the vocoder. I'm gonna turn BioVox on. I'm gonna crank up the breath setting to like 40 something. Crank up the gate to like 40 something. Turn on PolyVox, and then crank up the width setting all the way. And then we're going to go up to this top button right here and where it says auto mode. Opens global input mode selection screen. That's some big words. <laughs> All right. So as you can see right now, we're in auto mode. You can click MIDI on the side here and it's got these instructions. You can either read them or just listen to me. So basically what you want to do is you want to set up a new MIDI track with MIDI information on it. All right. Now we're going to click accept right here. And we're going to go down to this MIDI track here. Where it says no output, you are going to click on it. You're going to select the track that you want. And as you can see, it says vocal synth right here already. If you have Nectar loaded up on that track before that, it'll automatically load up Nectar in that little window there you want to click on that and make sure you have vocal synth selected just put it on the first channel basically that's kind of how you do the midi mode and why don't we give it we did a listen real quick Now let's listen to it with the rest of the track. Make sure that piano track is off because it's not supposed to be in the music. Say it's cold outside at night And I was bold and you were bright Just wanna love, don't wanna fight Yeah, think I was crazy and wrong to fall in love 
but I was half bright. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you stuck around to the end and you haven't already, go download the Ableton Master Act 2.0. I modified the parameters on this version so that it's easier to use for mastering purposes. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Audio, out.